Morning Live artist Libani Serenje, known to many as Rasta, has uh, seemingly gotten a lot of tongues wagging. People are talking about his work. His paintings, which have been a common feature in many memorial services, including that of the late Nelson Mandela, and the latest one being a portrait of President Cyril Ramaphosa, and that was last weekend at the ANC Manifesto. Well, Rasta's infamous paintings have drawn much attention and often backlash from the public. This morning, he joins us in studio to talk to us about his work and more. A very good morning to you, Rasta, if I may call you that. Thank you so much for making the time to come on the show. Thank you so much. Let's Thank talk so much. about your very first painting. Do you remember when that was and which icon did, did you first paint? And how would you say you've improved over the years? Uh, I remember I painted uh, Walter Sisulu way back before he died. Yeah, it was his birthday. So I've been doing like paintings each and every time when we celebrate someone, whether it's birthday or he has won something, apart from when he's dead or she's dead. And, and that first painting of Walter Sisulu, was it a pencil drawing or was it uh, a oil paint drawing? And how would you say your skill has gotten better since that very first painting? Yeah, it has gone better, but the thing is, it's now that I'm doing it in public, mm. of which uh, there will be a lot of movements and stuff of which uh, you can't even concentrate in a way that <laughs> when you're doing in your studio, you can have that full concentration on it. But I think uh, each and every time I improve, yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have you know, said so many negative things about you on social media. The, your work has received a lot of backlash. What do you have to say to that? And, and what motivates you to, to keep going, to keep painting and creating uh, the, the pictures that you create? Yeah, like, as I said, I celebrate everyone that maybe has won something or has passed on in a way that even critics can't pull me down in a way that each and every time when I draw, people criticize, but there are some people that uh, they like my work. So in every way, people, they criticize. Yeah, it's not that everyone will love you and or so you, like your work. And so the critics don't bother you at all? Yeah, you don't critics, care about the negative criticism? No, nah, they don't bother me a lot. Because <laughs> after the painting, when it's done, it comes out perfectly of which I don't get like, uh, this is nice now, this is looking fabulous. Oh, yeah. so, so do you think people prejudge your work? So people tend to judge your work before you've completed a painting, is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, the time like sometimes when I put on my easel, then you know, when I start sketching or painting, people will take a picture, then they will post it in a way that uh, with a painting you have to rub, sometimes you go over with the paint. So when the picture is posted, people will start criticizing. After maybe an hour or two, the painting looks great. It's complete and they yeah, don't come back they don't come to back take the picture take of the, the finished picture. artwork. Yeah. I yeah. see. Some I of see. the paintings that I brought here, uh, uh, they can show it, yeah, this is a finished job yeah. okay yeah. we'll get to those paintings in just a moment yeah. but last week you painted uh, a portrait of president Cyril Ramaphosa at the um, ANC election manifesto in Durban yeah. uh, did you get any feedback from the presidency about your artwork are they looking to buy or buy one from you or did you manage to give it to someone in the presidency to pass on to the president as a gift no I didn't give to anyone and there's no one who contacted me. Uh, it's like other people, like uh, my fo the people that follow my paintings, they liked it in a way that uh, they were saying, ah, I will need the painting or you do one for me. Yeah. All right. Yes. And which are some of the artworks that you've created that you say was the most challenging? Um, I can see <laughs> that's a picture of me. Mm. Um, and there's a painting mm. that you brought with you in studio mm. of mm. me. I don't know if this is the finished product or not. I, I'm not trying to say that mm. I have been the most challenging, but I yeah, just want yeah. you to take me through uh, what has been the most challenging portrait you've e ever had to um, paint. Uh, the most challenging, uh, maybe uh, the one for Winnie Matigizela. Yeah, because you find that 
there's a lot of people there on the background. So when you're doing a painting in a surroundings like that, it becomes impossible like to do it when you're relaxed in your studio. So it was challenging in a way that uh, people were taking pictures and posting before the painting and someone came to me and said, no, this is not good. Mm. But after that, uh, it was done properly. All right, so yeah. our viewers at home right now are seeing a picture of me that mm. is currently on social media. Our mm. team sent it to you prior to this interview. Mm. And they're also seeing the painting that you've um, done of me. Is the painting that you've done a, a finished product? Because I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not yet finished. It's what? gonna take maybe a couple of hours to couple finish it hours. up. Yeah, let me two or three hours. All right, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I'd like to, um, I'm not going to ask our viewers to send feedback, but what mm. I will do is once you have completed it, mm. because people continue to prejudge you. Yes. So once the painting of me that you're doing is mm. complete, I'll take mm. a picture and yeah. then I'll put both these pictures on social media and we can maybe see what people think of your finished product as opposed to having them prejudge you. Okay. My final question, Rasta, is what happens to all the, the portraits, the artworks that you create? Do you sell them? Do you give to people as gifts? Do you have a business that you, that you are, are running using your God-given talent? Mm, I just give it to the families, especially from the memorials. Then uh, I don't sell the paintings because it's going to not look good when someone passed on, then I do a painting, then sell it. So I just give it to the family uh, for them to keep then I was thinking that maybe in the near future we can sell those paintings through the exhibitions and stuff. Indeed, yeah. I think you actually do need yeah. to create an exhibition of yeah. all these amazing people mm. that you've, you know, done paintings of. And I think maybe uh, in the future you can paint portraits of celebrations yeah. and then you can come back and say, hey, do you want this portrait? I'll mm. sell it to you for 250 rand. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Rasta, you, for your you time so and much, all yes. the best. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing my finished portrait done by you. That okay, is artist you. Lebanji Serenje, known as Rasta, who never ceases to amaze us with his paintings. We just spoke to him about his artwork and what more can be expected from him. Do stay tuned. He's going to finish my artwork, and I'm very excited to share what that final piece will be looking like. Do stay with us.